other than Uncle Ben in New York, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. The same rules apply for the animals in this movie. In the beginning, there's a box for free pets, and this scene sets the tone showing that more than anything, most of the cats, dogs, etc. want to be owned by a human. The film's about this group of animals who have a secret life when their owners aren't around. They date, mate, and conversate when humans leave the room. The main dog in the movie is a white and brown Jack Russell Terrier. The Jack Russell Terrier dog has a lot of leadership intangibles and all the other pets look up to him. There's a scene when the dogs are getting walked and the canines follow him like a Twitter page up and down the streets and you could tell he's a natural born leader basically. One day, the main character gets adopted by a girl and judging from the montage, he really loves the chick and she loves him too or whatever. Love is really just a secondhand emotion when you think about it and so is hate. The owner adopts the new pet and introduces him to her old pet and the old one hates the hell out of the new one and is super pissed they have to be roommates now. The jealous dog wishes the new pet would disappear and it's like Goosebumps used to say, be careful what you wish for. The new pet gets kidnapped and that sucks basically. It's a matter of life and death because the streets of New York is no place for a pet and this pet in particular has no street savoir faire whatsoever. It's a good thing the dog he shared the bed with at the beginning teaches him how to survive because on his own he wouldn't know how to survive on the streets even if his house was on one. There's a part where he's about to get into a fight with some stray animals and instead of being about that life he runs for his life instead. While out on the street the pet makes friends with some ghetto animals. These animals hate humans more than Thor's brother and hate the main pet in the movie because he has an owner. Me personally, I don't trust liars because they lie, so I thought it was a bad idea to make friends with the thuggish animals. They go around impersonating humans all day which is dishonest as hell. And there's another dishonest scene with them when one of them chills in the middle of the road, waits for a car to stop, and when the guy checks on him, Booyaka! They commence to start the carjacking. Bad habits rub off on others like bubblegum tattoos. The Jack Russell Terrier dog is a liar too. There's an underground society of animals and when the Jack Russell Terrier gets in front of them, he starts lying to him like a baby mama on Maury. So pretty much the good guys and the bad guys can't be trusted in the movie. While the creatures are on the street, it seems dangerous as hell because all of the safety hazards they pass through to get from point A to the B point. It is dangerous, but the good news is the man's best friend finds a best friend during the dangerous scenes. The two animals become home boys after they steal some hot dogs. Later on, the leader of the gang of animals draws a master plan that looks like a two and a half year old created. He's the only one that knows what it says, but to summarize, it involves capturing the missing pet. Then another character gets kidnapped and the pets and stray animals have to join forces for a rescue mission. The rich affluent white dog leaves her house to go and find the missing pet that was kidnapped. It's a good thing she came because when the good guys are about to get beat down, she lays a smack down on the bad animals. Fast forward to the end and they're involved in a high speed chase. The smallest animal hops in the driver's seat and could barely see over the steering wheel but manages to drive the vehicle all the way to the Brooklyn Bridge. The animals cause a wreck and then BOOM! The vehicle falls in the water and even though all dogs go to heaven, luckily none of them are hurt and live to see another day. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Elevator music I've ever heard.